That's pretty cool. So this is the Ink Cloud Touch. That's the phone I got. Pretty sweet. It works. Working on the green Sonoma. Got a bunch of body work done on it. New panels on the front. As you can see. New panel there on the side. Back to a view of the floor. Doing some stuff in the back here. There's some panels. And here's back to the side. She will look better. We can rebuild her. Seen better days, but we'll fix it up. Well, yeah, it's perfectly normal. Gigantic lines in the sky like that. Yeah. And a plane right there going by to do some more spraying. Those nice fat chemtrails. I think we actually got a circle here. You see that? I see it. It starts right there. Looks like that. You see that? Nice, eh? Just a flight path, you know, diversion, that's all. Yep. Nothing to see here. Just chemtrails all over the place. Just breathe that in, suck it up. Perfectly normal. Get so used to driving the other trucks <clears throat> that uh, takes a bit of adjusting. But uh, that's the way it is, you know. When you've driven as many vehicles as I have. Make it smoothies for my mom and me. <laughs> Men are evil. Now I know how you dance. <laughs> I'm not a good dancer. Um, I haven't danced in years. That really sucks, man. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, quick question. Sure. Do you think it's worth me trying to redress it? Like, pen to the ticket? Because like I wouldn't even care about the ticket itself. Oh, like the, no. The idea of it, like, about the ticket. What ended up happening was that I tried to fight the ticket, yeah. and then I went to the OIRPD, which is a really long story. James and I would talk about that. He actually advised me a bit about it. Yeah. But OI I, OIRPD. What is it? The Ontario, Ontario in Independent Police Review, Review or something yeah. like that. Yeah. What ended up happening was they this board subcontracts. Uh, inter basically people to look up your case and who they subcontracted was the old basically that same same uh, Hamilton it was Hamilton Mountain Police and he used he was on the force for 14 years his name is in the paper he calls me I don't know anything about him right afterwards I googled him then I found out all about him but at the, at the time he's like so I hear you had a bad time with the cops he's trying to be like my best friend I'm like oh cool finally somebody I told him my whole story I thought he was my best buddy He's like, you know what I see here? I see that the report says you had glossy eyes. 
And he just started siding with them, and I'm like, oh, I see what's going on here. And he's like, yeah, I looked you up on the internet. You're pretty easy to find information about. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. You're standing there with a gun in your pocket right now, and I'm trying to pretend like I'm not intimidated by that. I'm just going to hang up this phone. Don't call me back, whatever. So then what ended up happening was I talked to some people that I know in the RCMP and the NRPS, and they told me the Hamilton Mountain Police used to be like a gang. So just go and pay your fine, and you'll be lucky if none of them come when they're off duty and just do something stupid, you know, just to prove a point. See, now you were in Toronto, yeah. so that might be... It might be different, but they well, might be I heard they killed a guy in the... pretty fucked right now, because people are, like, um, recently... I'm driving. This is my slept-in a little bit face. Sleep, to me, is as important as being awake. Sleep is pretty important uh, to your body. People are always like struggling and caffeinating their bodies. I've drank coffee for many years, I know what it's like, and energy drinks, but I haven't had coffee or caffeine since, uh, since I turned 30 in October. And I don't want to ever have caffeine again right now, so that's being honest. Um, people are struggling all the time. You know, you get four hours sleep, you got kids, and you wake up, and you're like, give me my jolt of coffee. You don't get proper sleep, and then your body doesn't have time to heal itself. All the muscles that you've used, and... Your brain doesn't have time to go into sleep mode and to rest and to repair. So you're constantly working and working and working and passing out isn't sleeping. You know, I used to drink quite a lot, so I, I know that people in the working the working field will uh, just drink, you know, every day if they have a hard job or, you know, on the weekends. And the weekends, you know, or when your work is done, you can rest, but if you're drinking heavily, then you're not really sleeping. That's, passing out isn't sleeping. You know, sleeping off a hangover isn't exactly uh, resting like a normal sleep. You know, if you're going to bed still drunk and you wake up still drunk, it's not exactly sleeping. So the best you could be sleeping, you know what I mean? So sleep is important. And uh, I like to get 8 to 10 hours a night if I can. And during the week, sometimes it's a little bit harder. This weekend I had to go uh, meet our, our uh, the architects at, and the engineers at Popeye's, so it makes it a bit harder on Saturday. Usually I rest Saturdays. Alright, focus on driving, Adam. So, I got a radio. It's pretty neat. Uh, what else can we do with this thing? <sighs> we can do quite a lot. Hey, I know that guy. Uh, check this out. Got that one last night. Gyroscope slash compass with GPS on it to let you know if you're lost, I guess. I, I suppose that could come in handy. Um, I have a several different uh, voice uh, personal assistant and voice activated stuff on my phone. This one scans barcodes and then we'll price shop 
for you. So you put a barcode in there and then just scan it. And it does work. I've tried it a few times, but I don't have my data connected right now because when I'm at the office, I don't really need this phone for anything uh, other than calls. Uh, this one's, uh, what is it called? Sky Junk. And I recommend that you uh, get it. It might be hard to see because of the glare here. Uh, let's try this. I don't know. Glare is pretty bad. But if you can see, it's pointing at, I'm pointing at the uh, sky and it's picking up the constellations, where the sun is, etc, etc. Sky Junk. Definitely get that one. If the camera on it was as good as the one I'm holding in my hand, then I wouldn't need to have two cameras. Um, what else we got here? One of my personal favorites. The guitar. I, w I made a video already with me playing this uh, guitar, but we'll try it again. Nope, oh, need some better volume. Maybe I'll put it down right here. If I... What is it, D? Leave it tomorrow. E. Oh, it's E minor. I don't have E minor loaded on there. Anyway. Well, let's do this one. Knock, 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 And, um, I found other ones with, uh, finger, where you could actually put your fingers on it. Well, you can on this one, but I found ones where you could actually hold chords. The problem is, is that you... The phone is so limited, right? So you can only go three, you know, C, and it gets a little difficult. So you can only put uh, two or three fingers on on a keyboard like this. It's not a fretboard. As a good, I mean, I'm looking at it from the point of view that I actually play guitar, so it, it might be a bit more difficult. Uh, Speaking of playing guitar, I got myself a guitar tuner. Oh, A, come on, give me an A. <laughs> so, that's fun too. Somehow I think I turned my GPS on. Whoops, I'll turn that off. So, uh, lots of cool things on this phone. Uh, one of the easiest apps to use is this whole app called Phone, where it actually just calls people. So, we could just call people um, and text people. Oh, another badass application I got, Jarvis. Bam, Jarvis. enabled for incoming call and text. So if I get a text message, Jarvis will read it to me. And I can tell Jarvis to, uh, you know, call it back or not call it back. Another cool application I have. We got Brainwave Light Tuner. I was just gonna fiddle with that and see how it is. I got EV, a personal assistant. A lot of these need to be connected to the web. Yeah need to be connected uh, to the data for them to work. Uh, and that's a whole thing. Oh yeah, did I already do this one? <laughs> the eye beer. I'm not using an iPhone. Uh, this is an Android operating system. But that's still pretty cool though. You know, no matter what way you move it. It's like a gyroscope, it just stays level. That's kind of neat. Oh, I broke the beer. Want another one? Glug, 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 I mean, that would be sort of funny. I don't drink, so I guess I could drink my eye beers. Uh, this one was a pretty badass application. 
Um, I don't play video games much, but and I don't get bored much. And when I, if I ever do get bored, I usually have lots of things I could be working on. Uh, but I did download this just in case. You know, you're at a waiting for a car ride, or I don't know, maybe you're at a bus terminal, or maybe you're waiting for somebody. I don't know. That is pretty badass. Come on, that's cool. I was gonna get a flying game too. I'm not big on first person shooter games or uh, killing people, whether it's in a video game or in real life, so. Um, what is that one called, by the way? Free something or other. So these are the applications that we can scroll through. Oops. I actually, uh, don't, I'm not gonna be using most of them. Uh, Raging Thunder 2 is what that one's called. Oops. I accidentally, I'm still getting used to the phone. And the whole app thing and the market thing is a whole, uh, you know, thing unto itself that I'm still learning. Uh, I learned that this phone is designed for Facebook and I don't have a Facebook account or want one. So that may have been a, might have been a mistake on my part, but I like the overall layout of the phone. I like the Android operating system. I'm satisfied with the overall look of the phone, feel of the phone. I would like a camera in the front here, but it doesn't seem to have one, unless that's what's filming me right now. Oh, I don't know. It says there is a camera. Why is that flashing? If there's not a camera in there. Yeah, what is that? It's like secretly filming me? Because the camera is pointing that way. Um, see? Creepy. Well, whatever. If the government wants to find me, they can find me. If secret black op people want to find me, they can find me. But that is sort of uh, a little weird, I guess, because you can't see it with the naked eye. When I'm looking down at my phone, I can't see that blue light. But you can pick it up on the camera. Freaking creepy. Anyway, that's the new phone. It's so many things and more. And that blue light seems to constantly be going no matter what. What if I turn my phone off? Oh, still going. That is something I had not seen. It is interesting. Anyway, fun times with the Ink Cloud Touch.